So that boy Mike Wong has been tweeting. I said, say it again with your boy. Tweeting. And we gonna get straight into it, man. He was talking about shooting and he said, would like to hear specifically from Play Online and my team players who are primarily playing team control type modes. How are you doing with this more skill-based shot timing uh, having to control multiple different players? More or less, he wants to know, is it is it hard? Uh, shooting is good, shooting is too hard, shooting is too easy, and the results. Like I said, I hit the results because I want to know. I got to know. And so uh, a lot of people said 42% say shooting is good, 30% said uh, it's too hard, 3% said too easy. I think they just trolling. And then 23, 23%, 23%, we just wanted to see the results, man. The boy Cash Nasty chimed in, and he says, uh, no one got time to memorize 100 player shots every time it's a new a new card that drops. You gotta memorize the shot, and the plays and the plays are still broken, and everybody running zone, including myself, because it's rare to run into someone who actually hit open shots online. Dang, that's tough. And there's still a glitch with zone, which which has been there for years. If you pass the ball to the open corner, it's a, it's a delay on the shooting. Uh, when someone does when someone does zone defense, I'm happy to. I'm happy with the shooting skill gap because I destroy casuals in park because of it. And then uh, we got one more. We got uh, one more nanny boy. He says, uh, fix animation, re fix animation, reset. Gap. Bro, we know all about that, man. So anyway, do y'all agree with Cash Nasty? Do y'all think shooting is good? Do you think shooting is in a good place? Do you think it's in a bad place? Where do you think it is? Also, make sure y'all like the video, man, because today we are giving away a $50 gift card worth of VC. If you're on PlayStation, man, I think I, I don't think I can buy the gift card. Darius, I've been trying to find a, a, a card for you all week. I think I'm just gonna have to cash up your 50 bucks, my boy. I ain't gonna lie, because I don't think I can buy the uh, the $50 worth of VC on PlayStation. You can do it for Xbox really easily, but for PlayStation, I'm having trouble finding it. If you can help me out, help your boy out. But look, check it out. I'm giving away $50 today. All you gotta do to be entered in this is to like the video and comment down below um, just comment something down below and you automatically enter. And with all that out of the way, good morning! Or should I say yes? Oh, what's going on out there in 2K land, man? Check it out, bro. We got a lot of news today for y'all and just a little bit of time. Most of it revolves around Mike Wong. And, uh, you know, like we said, Cash Nasty did chime in. But, hey, we're going to get much. Like we said, we just going to get straight into it. Hey, the boy Cole, the man, said, who the f is leaving next gen to go play current gen. Next gen looks beautiful and current gen looks like Nintendo graphics. Uh, Big Papa Bear, they said Nintendo. Jesus Christ. Do, 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 do. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie. Is anybody going back to current gen? Like I understand that, that we had the issues over the last couple of years or what have you with it and all that good stuff, but because uh, people weren't able to get the people weren't able to get the, the the consoles and stuff like that, I definitely understand that those are out there um, and that we do have some issues with it. But is anybody really and truly going back to current gen that actually has the game? Now, if you don't got the game, I get it, I understand it. But if you have next gen, I don't think there's anybody that's this year that's playing that is on next gen that actually is just gonna play current gen exclusively. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. If I need to slant myself toward, more toward the current gen content, y'all let me know, cause I'll be glad to do that, man, because you know, uh, but I, like I said, I made builds for next gen and current gen, and they look literally the exact same. You can make the same build that I got right here on current gen without many modifications. You can just get your badges earlier. So I don't know, man, y'all let me know uh, without in the description what y'all think. Up next, we got the boy running 2K. If you haven't completed your My Career Quest, my My Career Quest, you're missing out on this glorious, no, I won't give in, this glorious shirt, man. And look at that, look at, look at the boy. Oh, look at the boy running 2K right now with the little Chi Chi Wah Wah. Ah, I'm gonna have to get that shirt, man, because I like the Chihuahuas. Y'all know I'm a weakness. I got a weakness for the Chihuahuas. I had a Chihuahua, and he uh, died when he was like 17 years old, man. And you know, love that dog, that that's slick. Bridget wasn't the fondest of Slick, but he was here before her, and uh, you know, but she knew she was gonna outlive him though, cause you know, I mean, come on, it's a dog, man. He, he, she's gonna live, but he was 17 years old when I met her. Was he 17 when I met you, Bridget? Um, probably so. I know 15? He no, he's 15. He was 15 when I met you. Slick ate my McChicken sandwich. She's still mad at the dog, but bro, but let me quick story. The dog had no teeth. 
She said that he ate her McChicken, and that's why that's, that began the vendetta between them two. And, like, because uh, he was a rescue or what have you when I got him. He had no teeth and all that good stuff. So, she said he ate the McChicken. I said there's no way he could have eaten the McChicken. He doesn't have any teeth. And to, to, to that then, to that day, she got mad because she thought I was taking this side because I said she lied on the dog. Y'all let me know if, chick, if Slick ate that McChicken with no teeth or not. He didn't. He did not eat the he didn't eat no McChicken with no teeth. How a dog gonna eat a McChicken with no teeth? He had hard gum. He had hard hard gum. Okay, I done heard it all, man. Anyway, check it out. Up next, like the <laughs> Up next, man, we got the boy Laker fan saying, I propose a trade. Um, actually we wanna talk about this one here first. Let's talk about this video first uh, by the president, man. The president dropped an awesome video. Link will be down in the description. And he's talking about should still be nerfed or patched. And uh, he did a deep dive into it. The ultimate conclusion was that uh, I think a lot of people feel like Steels still should be nerfed. And they um, and, and it's because of the, the issues that are beyond your control. Mostly it was, it was because a lot of people play with randoms. And when you play with randoms, you ain't got nowhere to throw the ball and all of that. I play with a team 90% of the time, so I really don't feel that pain. But I do see randoms getting ripped a lot as well so you know it is what it is i understand what he's saying and so that brings us to where lakers fan was and he says i propose a trade this is a trade proposal trade offer and uh pretty much just saying buff clamps and and you know we receive a nerf to steals but we get a buff to clamps and i say hey man that boy jay easy aka fresh from the mother barbershop says Hey, I feel the same way. The only way it will be fair is, but uh, this is the only way it will be fair because if they buff clamps and leave the glove the way it is, woo, it gonna be some smoke in the city. And it says only, and another person says only if clamps forces uh, pickups, even versus elite ball handlers. I, I'm, I'm, I'm with that. And then another uh, Lazarus says, uh, I'm interested. I must admit. Uh, again, we talked about this yesterday, and my, my, I myself was saying yesterday when Mike came through the stream, I was like, I would. Uh, he was saying, do you think we should make any change? And I was like, maybe a slight buff to clamps. You know, more Stonewall animations and stuff like that. Because right now, clamps... Clamps really shines in the riding aspect. When somebody tries to go by you, you're leaning on them so they can't get to the rim. That's how you got to use it. I'm going to show y'all that today, how clamps really isn't broken and the way that you actually have to use it. Because Brute, Brute was like, yo, uh, I was like, man, clamps really doesn't work like that. And I wish it did work a little bit better. And Brute was like, you just don't know how to use it. I'm like, how the, how the fuck you mean I don't know how to use clamps? Just stand in front of the person. That's all you got to do. Like, what do you mean? And then I actually had to go back into the lab and realize that in this game, clamps just prevents you from turning the corner. It does not really, if somebody dribbles into your chest, it doesn't stonewall them uh, like that anymore. Now, if we had more stonewall animations, you there's no way glove could, could be in the way that it is because I would just stonewall you and then I'm gonna reach and then you're gonna lose the ball. So I, I would definitely, if I could get bumpier, and make and cause more pickups and stuff like that. I, I would be cool with that, but you can't leave it with the ball with the way that the ball, uh, the stone ball steals are right now. Because if you did, then people would know. They'd be like, "Well, shoot, they're gonna panic past the ball, and then we're gonna steal the ball." Um, so what well, that would cause it, but then at the same time, it might cause a whole nother issue because if they make it so you can get bumpier, but you can't get as many on ball steals, then people are gonna get a lot of interception and lane steals because it's gonna have to be a lot more passes. Like I said, anything you do in this game is so finely balanced. It's like tightrope walking. In 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 on in a building in above buildings in Chicago, that wind could come and take you out instantly if you change anything. So, like I said, it is what it is, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do you ex do you uh take that trade or propose it, or do you think that they should just nerf steals and lead clamps how it is? And then that that would tell me that you don't want people to play defense at all on the game, which is a lot of people. Because like I said, a lot of people don't have enough gray matter to uh, cope with this game, and I understand it. they still trying to play it like the last two Ks and complaining about stuff ain't here. If it ain't in the game. It ain't in the game. It is what it is. But anyway, up next, boy, we got the boy. We got our NBA 2K Labs. And, uh, you know, uh, the big, the boy, uh, board man, you know the board man get paid. He just said, NBA 2K Lab Corner Specialist has no effect. Uh, do not feel uh, do not feel any difference with the badge or what have you. And then it just says, how do you guys measure the green timing and all that good stuff? I'm just paraphrasing. And it just says, first we find the green window. Then we use a monitor controller uh, where we can set the shoot button. Uh, the same milliseconds as the green window, so it's a lengthy process of uh, plugging in the milliseconds, and then we get the greens. Then you know you adjust it to get the green window. Basically, the, uh, basically 20 shots at that milliseconds. After that, we have the green window. After we have the green window, uh, we take a sample size of 200 shots every 
10 milliseconds throughout the window and uh, we do every five milliseconds or what have you. The boy Mike Wong just came through and says, beware that we that we have measures in place to combat modded controllers. So it probably, um, it, it will probably throw your data off unless you sample sizes in the thousands. It's also important to note that the uh, that most badges can't be properly tested in, iso in an isolated practice gym environment. Badge effects change dramatically in in in-game scenarios uh, compared to freestyle or what have you. This is something that we've been talking about for years, man. We like, we like, like, when I, people would tell me stuff about, I would always use the hard data that people have when they do badge testing and stuff, 2K labs and all that stuff. Like, so the, so the green window and the actual numbers, numbers, those are it. But that's where I would leave it because I actually play the game and I can feel the difference and stuff. And we know that when you're practicing in blacktop and stuff like that, you're in a vac or, or in practice, you're in a vacuum. So like everything, all the conditions are perfect and they're tailored to what you want. So like what he said right here, this is what I said. This is what we're gonna be doing a lot of our, our testing and stuff like that. But we're gonna we're gonna get to that in one second in the practice gym. You gotta go to the practice gym and stuff like that. But I understand why they do what they do and the hard numbers don't lie. So there are good numbers, but there are a lot of things that you can't just take at face value. That's all. Ooh! Look at that steal right now. I'm about to make me a TikTok out of that one right now, boy. Give me that steal. And then the quick drops off one. Maybe they is overpowered, Lego fan. But anyway, uh, he says it's also important to know that the badges can can uh can't be properly tested in the practice in there. Okay, and then somebody come through, uh, what is his name? Making making tacos. He says, I see you pop up. I see you pop up, but never in the in the hot dog hat and VC threads. Uh care to comment on <laughs> on the nerf uh VC for quest uh this year. Or the absolutely out of touch uh, boomer storyline, and I uh, do said I uh, might just—he just pretty much. I, I'm a gameplay guy. I don't—I don't have nothing to do with that. I can't comment on things I have co no control over, and that's probably the best way to do it. It's just like with something. I know some people probably think that's a cop out answer, but I—I I, I will tell you this: I get this a lot in my job. People will be like, "Hey, man, my computer's slow." I'm a network engineer. I don't have nothing to do with your computer being slow. The only thing I can do is come test the internet, make sure your up down is good, your up down look good, your Ethernet adapter look good. I got nothing to do with your computer being slow. Also, people must be specific when they say their computer is slow. When you're saying your computer is slow what are you saying is slow is it the is it the internet is slow are you pulling web pages slow is outlook coming up slowly which that could be networking is is word coming up slowly are you typing the things that are happening are you hearing the thing like it's just so many things you have to take into consideration when your computer is slow so that's why i always tell y'all it's very important to say exactly or be very specific have some speci specificity yeah you saw that block shot so specific I can't say the word, but y'all know what I'm talking about when you're, when you're asking for stuff because I can only give you what you ask for and close mouth don't get fair. And uh, like you said, then we come down there and uh, 2K Lab just said, we noticed, we noticed some random feedback uh, being very uh, being very early and very late, uh, but we generally throw, that data, throw the data points out. Um, it's about 1,200 shots per badge. Uh, we, do, we do the testing in the blacktop on Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, pretty much, pretty much that. And then Mike comes back and he says, testing the blacktop on Hall of Fame will produce reliable, uh, testing the blacktop Hall of Fame will produce reliable results for blacktop Hall of Fame. Yes, if you test it there, it'll give you, it'll give you good results for there, but won't be indicative of how a given badge behaves in different modes. The, spe the, uh, the, sp the specific effects of corner specialists haven't changed, but the shooting model has. And then the 2K Lab says, of course, it's impossible to test online, so Blacktop is the best place to test. And then Mike came back with the, you know, with the counter, he says, um, and, you know, he says, and so, so are you implying that the negative variables are uh, blah, 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 you know, shot can test, lower stamina, all that. The 2K Lab test corner specialists under perfect conditions that sees no effect. That, that would be the only explanation uh, to your second point. And then, so Mike just came through and he just says, I'm saying that negative variables need to be considered when evaluating a badge. Don't you love, I, that's, that's, this is what I do too when people say, well, are you saying this? No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying what I'm saying. Don't try to change what I'm saying. I'm saying what I'm saying. Corner specialists might have no value for, given, for a given person if they're able to generate the same exact uh, shot opportunity with all factors being the same. But the same person might see noticeable benefits with the badge, uh, with the badge when some, when used in a real game situation, 
uh, you know, and with dynamic factors and stuff like that. And then um, more or less, then he comes back. He said, your shooting ratings between one another uh, cross distance bands. This means that if you're, if you're deep, uh, if you're in deep two range, both your mid and your three point rating are applied. We've always known that, um, you know, once you cross, once you cross completely out the, the, what's, what is it? the lurked range or the pure three point territory, the three point rating is all that matters. And your mid range well, won't help or hurt you or what have you like that. More or less what he's saying is, man, listen, a lot of this stuff is cool, but if you're not taking it online, you can't really, you, you like I said, the hard numbers are there and they, then they're cool. But more or less it's like this, just like with Gambit. Gambit don't use limitless range, but I do. He says, I don't need limitless range because I can green the shot from limitless range regardless of if I have limitless range or not. So I don't need the badge. Conversely, myself, I use limitless range because I perform better with limitless range on than, than with it off. But at the same time, guard up, it probably helps, but I keep myself out of situations where guard up should be applied. Just like corner specialists and catch and shoot. You, Gambit can play without those, but I play with them. I will probably get the same result, but there are probably some variables to where, you know, like I said, if you can green the shots, you can green the shots. So it's not a big deal this year, but last year you probably will see more dramatic effects. But because you have to green the shot anyway, you know, it's, it's going it's gonna to give you some different stuff. So it's going to be harder to see those things, man. Up next, man, we got the community clips, man. And we just going to go through it quick, quick like this. First off, Pusha T and Freddie Gills got a track coming. Give me some T, get tired. That's what I'm talking about. They got a track coming up. Up next, hey, we got the boy. Hey, hold on, let's, let's go. Let's go to community clips, big, big style. Hey, he's just saying, man, look, man, we got these doggone, we got these doggone extra layups and stuff like this, man. They not in the game for no reason, man. Check it out. Going to the Riznim. Up, yeah, 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 laying it up like that. Up next, bro. Hey, we got. Hey, look at my six three, man. We just gonna skip ahead right here, man. We got. You gotta skip ahead, bro. This is my six three coming down the coat. Okay, okay, but he's gonna pass it to him. Look, look, he's gonna fade, fader. Cash, pay it up. I got no price on reserve. Activist. Up next, then we got the boy. We got the boy, uh, bro, bro, bro. What you doing, bro? What you doing, bro? Get that shot out of here. Hold on one second. Yeah, look at that. So what he's talking about is the is the uh, block and flop right here. So you see him go up, and then look at the flop. I like it, man. Hey, big big shout outs to him for that one, man. Area powers out here, um, and and you know just just talking about some of the some of the stuff right here. Um, yeah, the invisible person. Look at this. It's bike. The invisible man is bike. I don't know what's going on, but so. Hey, having too much fun with that, man. It is what it is. Laker fan of mainstay with the pick six. Look at that, right? I don't know what did it say he had interceptor on. Let's look and see. I don't know. I don't know if he got interceptor on, but we got to find out. Let me get that. Going. Yep, he definitely got interceptor on. Maybe I need to put interceptor on. I don't have it on. And uh, that's another badge where I'm saying like it might be, you know, better. Oh my god, look at it. How oh, you say demonious son of a Look at that. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. This was one of my favorite Raws of all time when he just came out of nowhere. Okay, you out of nowhere. Can't put that on the big screen because they'll get me. And last but not least, man, I'm mad. I don't like none of this. Why for I can't get that loud? Unlimited Gatorades. Unlimited Gatorades. Why for I can't get that? I'm gonna go in there and get 500 VC. But uh, instead of 500 VC, you know what y'all guys can get? Y'all can get what 200,000 VC and the way that you can do that is just make sure you like the video uh, down below and if you made it this far if you're going if you think that slick did not eat the sandwich put slick in the comment section and if you think he ate the com if you think he ate it you put Bridget down there so at the end of your comment so if you think he ate it put slick at the end of your comment hard gums put slick at the end of your comment and if you think he didn't eat it if you think he ate it put Bridget so if you're on Bridget side put Bridget if you're on slick side put put uh, slick yes I had a dog named slick he had a do rag and a chain and everything man it was hilarious wish y'all could have seen it but anyway I gotta get up out of here man hope y'all enjoyed the video make sure y'all like the video comment down below and I'm holler at y'all next time because you get a chance to win 50 bucks and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy Jay Easy aka Fresh from the Barbershop BK the People's Channel Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.